A marker built in 1936 in Jackson Parish has been destroyed. Kenya Ross has more on what happened. Well, these guys put in a lot of work out here. Uh, they've done a great job uh, maintaining this place throughout the years. And, you know, now, you know, it's just a, like it's a landmark is gone. An arch that stood in front of the entrance of the Veterans of Foreign Wars in Jonesboro is now only a memory. According to Jonesboro Police, the driver of a panel truck accidentally knocked it over as the vehicle turned into the driveway of the VFW Hall on Tuesday. The accident report stated the driver was unaware that the cargo box on the truck was too tall to make it under the stone arch. After the cargo box hit the arch, it broke and fell over. The senior vice commander of the VFW Hall says the arch can't be restored. I would have to say no. Uh, it's probably going to be, it's irreplaceable. You can't, you can't replace a historical monument. We could make another arch, but it wouldn't have the meaning. A group called the Civilian Conservation Corps built the arch 88 years ago when the location was known as a campsite called CCC Camp Colvin. Howard Stuckey says the historical landmark has ties to a lot of people in the community. A lot of families came here. That's where you came to, to find a job because there were no jobs. They put you to work working on the highways and the roads and they gave you housing and food and stuff like that. And uh, they're the ones that built this thing. And a lot of families that moved up here that live in this parish now got their start because their parents brought them up here and they never went back. Members of the VFW Post in Jonesboro say now that the landmark is gone, they're going to vote on what will be placed at the entrance where the 88-year-old arch once stood. For KNO8 News, I'm Kenya Ross.